Speak it out My daily desk Mahonero ako panyayay Why don't you speak it out? Speak it out, speak it out Jaura, yeah Speak it out Why don't you, why don't you, why don't you speak it out? Why don't you speak it out? Speak it out, yeah Na ali screen Hello guys, welcome back to Speak It Out on Daily Desk. Ali Green, the host with the most. I come today, we are back with another exciting episode, guys. You're not ready for this. I know, you are not ready for this. Now, I know to Janet, my cousin is on watch. Panama, I'm going to the comment section. Can you bring him in? At least, I'm going to go to Then I just like, where can I go? And a farm, just to know the farm. Then I brought a man in the studio today. <laughs> And we have got Chris in the studio. Chris, welcome to Speak It Out. Yes, ma'am. How are you? How are you? I'm good. I'm happy to see you. I'm happy to see you guys. I'm because happy to be here. Because normally, Kudia is a messy. Oh, it's a very, it's, uh, <laughs> it's not easy. It's no need. Yeah. <laughs> no, actually, uh, we are just here to, you know, to learn more also, you know. Yeah. Yeah. So today, we'll be talking about Zimbabweans in Cape Town. Mm. I think kind of ex interesting uh, topic because there's a lot inside that. That is a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So who's Chris? Yeah. Um. Actually, my real name is Stanford. Stanford. Stanford Siziba. Stanford Siziba. Uh, that is my real name. Wow. But you know, um, like all this wow, mm -hmm. hearing this Chris image, what what? Yes, I just I like am. it's Chris <laughs> image. Maybe it's your name then. No, no, no. Actually, Chris Sibs comes from um, it's my daughter's name. Wow. So I took uh, my daughter's name and my surname, then we formed Chris Sibs Images. Okay, then you combine like, together, <laughs> combined yeah. it, could you do yes. something? Could you take that? That was creative, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. Because it's, it's very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's very difficult. <laughs> yes, so sir. Chris, today we'll be talking about Zimbabweans in Cape Town. Mm -hmm. Because we are Zimbabweans, we are living in Cape Town. Yeah. But when you hear the words Zimbabweans in Cape Town, what comes in your mind? Um, what I can say is that, okay, let me take you back a little bit. Mm. I came here 2008. 2008? That yeah. was a long time. Ah, you can say that. So, um, I, I can put it that way, Zimbabwe is in Cape Town. During those uh, years, or 2008, mm. there were few Zimbabweans in Cape Town. Wow. So, as you were walking even in the street and you can hear someone speaking, Sean, you, you would stop and ask for a phone number. You're excited. Of course, you could, you, you were excited. Oh, I see the Do you get what I'm saying? saying. Oh. Actually, I still remember we used to visit each other, you know, because that was the lovely people that, oh, we are far, so we meet with my homie. Yo, but now, uh, it's quite difficult now. So now we're putting it as like, um, the Zimbabweans who get businesses in Cape Town, mm. uh, who get uh, children in Cape Town, who are running a lot of things in Cape Town, to the extent that some of them, they don't see themselves as Zimbabweans anymore. Really? Yeah, some of them, they don't see that. So they see themselves as South Africans, but yet they must know that they South are Africans still Zimbabweans. In <laughs> <laughs> they are still Zimbabweans in Cape Town. Yeah. So like... Back days, it was like 2008. Yeah. So, my talk to run a number which mutual created that relationship that and relationship. end up being family, kind of. Yeah. That was that was then, you know. Um, it was good, man. But so, do you think it was good than now? It was very good than now. Why? Because the love was real. We could show ourselves that we are real Zimbabweans, that a reality, or actually the Zimbabweans, it's on its own, we've got the, uh, 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 what can I put it, the original thing that we have, the love, mm. the love, we love each other, even though we are now losing it, but as Zimbabweans in Cape Town, then we used to show that love, the care that we used to do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it was all the other one I know, yes. like the first time when I came to Cape Town, the Pindam Kombi, 
Kombi, I think most of the people on Wadi Koko and Wadi Ma South Africans because yes. of the area which I was in. Yeah. So when they go to my mother, they are showing and they are far and they are like, ah, they are showing them no more. And they are finding and they are just trying to get out of it. He was the person that I don't even touch. The one who bad that takes, the one who okay to come back. They said no, we don't do it to save and all. So it was fun. It wasn't a bad experience, mm. but it was that kind of a weird. It was just a pan of pasta. I'm not trying to show na. You are jaira kuti. Did you say? Did you go on the streets? Go marry? Oh, oh, who's all on Goku? The last one to go just the other day. Now uh, to change yango. So yeah. that day, I freaked yeah. out. I was like. Can I have my change, please? Yeah. <laughs> and I had that name. I I had that. Oh, name. You have to breathe. You there have to nothing. take it in yeah. because it's it's the truth. I think yeah. it's the truth, which is very painful, though. It's very painful, actually. Yeah, but before we go any further, I just wanna ask: <coughs> Is yeah. it uh, is Cape Town a best place, or is it a good place, a place to raise kids? Um. Because being you, you are a parent already, I know you are a parent, right? Yes, I'm a, I'm a dad. So, you are a dad. Yes. And uh, Anna Baba is very protective mm, and mm, tough mm, and they mm. concede a lot of things. And mm. you being a dad in Cape Town, what's your experience? You know, I want to do history at school. Mm. So they used to say, um, how bad was Mussolini? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so to what extent? The European history. To <laughs> the what European extent? history. To what extent? Like, so, so, before we, like, let me just take you back a yeah. little bit. Because, um, yeah, I Actually, uh, I can put it that way that some of the things that it's a good school, they are going to for a brain, but for, for, I'm not. I'm not going to mention names. Mm. That is a normal scanner, so <laughs> I can't ignore anything, exam, whatever. I'm going to go on Facebook. I'm going to go on. I want five U's, three U's, and a U. Wow. I just like the way you were saying five U's, three U's, and a U. And a U. You're not supposed to say seven U's. Yeah. But, <laughs> but uh, as dull as she was, she could write. And the fact that, you know, there is a difference between Mana and Abuchkoro. I don't know for. Yeah, I still remember the yes. late Robert Ngabe always say it's yeah. better to she came from for or four years, but you are better than the Monagabu. As not, as as not as not not yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so taking back to what you were asking about, mm. uh, is it good about raising kids in yeah. Cape Town? I don't think it's. Um, let me say, to what extent? It's good because um, there will be, um, like for instance, my, chi my, 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 my daughter, mm. my daughter, she's nine. Mm. She, she can write, she can type in English, she can speak English very well, mm. of which we couldn't do that, especially as for mm. me, I came from rural okay. areas. Do you get what I'm saying? So, you talk about that, coming do you get what I'm saying? Zimbabwe, which yes. Chirungu, in rural are, areas. Papa, <laughs> 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 right. So, there is some advantages on those issues, mm. but, um, According to everything that is happening, South Africa style, lifestyle, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want my child to be associated with such environment, especially uh, the violence that is happening, especially actually cultural wise. Mm. Um, um, like for instance, another thing that we are losing as Zimbabweans in Cape Town, we are losing our culture. Wow. Most, our, our, most people, we are losing our culture. Like our kids, some some of the, our kids they don't know um, what is the real culture, culture of Zim. Kuti, uh, you're trying to say Kuti, the when my culture is like a wonder. so they end up not knowing who are we as Zimbabweans. As Zimbabweans. Like my nongo to chika wuku chetu, so wuka to zizi. So there are some things that, I, like for instance, I like even T.D. Jakes. He once um, mentioned something. He said he thanks God the way he grew up. Wow. He thinks actually his father also, the way he was teaching him. True. He was very harsh on him. So the time he was growing, he thought my dad was very unfair to him. But when he's at old now, he's looking back at what he, his father was doing. He's now saying, wow, I think that man, I am what I am because of what my father um, had done to me. Wow. So sometimes we might think 
We might, we, we might be very, they, our kids can t t t look at like we are being very abusive difficult, or, abusive to yeah, them. They but use, you are now, doing now they use the words abuse and of, rights. Uh, yes, but we are doing it for them. So here in South Africa, there is too much freedom, too much of, um, even in Zimbabwe sometimes they are trying to put those things, but things it's not changing, good for yeah. our culture. You know, I grew up in a culture whereby uh, anyone can send you to even to buy anything. You can just mm. so uh, a kid. Ma, it takes a village to, to raise, raise a, a child. child. Yeah. But nowadays you cannot do that. <laughs> and yeah. I think pari jiri pa tu kuti these days bangwa ni bana kuni ma uyu ekubi wabana. So iwe me pa mungo kwa kundi kumundoti ah Chris. Just because it's a stranger and I don't know his intentions or his intentions yeah. towards the child. Yes. Uh, so I, am I losing my culture or I'm protecting the child? Um, you might not be losing. That's why I, I love history. I'll say to what extent. Mm. <laughs> because um, you can teach your child, like, do you know that even some even domestic issues, if you can look at the um, database of even the rape case. Mm. Some of the relatives, they are the ones who are raping even your, your child. Yeah, that's the sad part. So of it. it's then, uh, it depends on how you teach them to be themselves, to how you, you train them. So sometimes even um, how much we train them or how much we teach them, uh, there are those some little things that we cannot guide them 100%. Wow. But there is a way of raising them in a cultural way that we know and that will serve them or that will be a good, especially I love also to uh, put it back in the word of God because I'm a, I'm a child of God. The Bible says, train a child a way he should go. When he grows up, he will never depart from it. Mm, yeah. So it's our way of training them sometimes that will keep them uh, in a good way. So, uh, yeah, before I go to the next question, mm. guys, we are here with Chris in the studio, guys. We're talking about Zimbabweans in Cape Town. So kindly follow and share this live. Let your friend call your friend and bring all your friends. Then we can talk about these uh, situations together. And don't forget, this sponsors is this video is sponsored by Chido, guys. You can just look at the dress. What else do you want? What else do you want? Can I also kunda kuna chido ula wenda kupi? Guys, the dress is giving. It's giving international, yeah? We are going to reach there very soon. So, uh, Chris, I'm just putting it in consideration as well. Yes, ma'am. Because you, as me as a mother as well, there are things that need to be done. Are we not spoiling these kids too much somewhere, somehow here in Cape Town? Because... Um, you find something to do. But just find something usable with your life. And it's also something. What's going uh, you remind me of one of the discussions that I had with my brother. Um, I asked him about, uh, do you know Shilonzo Msipit? Until I even grow enough order to understand Chi. Because you don't know what you Yes. I love that, those things. Was it? I in Zira, it yes. What is that? All right. I love another brother of mine. Before Manuaki Panga Shida anything, I don't to white at she. What did you do? Wow. What did you do to so, deserve something? Well, yes. So he's putting that in his child that nothing is for free. You are my child. I love you. But nothing is for free. So before he gave him even any money to buy sweets, mm. he will say, what did you do? Then the child will sweep the house or will wash the place. Then will say, daddy, I've washed the house. I will sweep the house. I wash the place. So, so you put that in your child's mind that even if, if I'm your father, and I'm your father and I love, you, I love you, but there are some things that you cannot get it for free. Like, like as for, for myself, I live in the locations. Mm. Yeah, I'm a location guy. 
you can meet these uh, closer kids, even these uh, small kids, who be asking, tell it to run, mm. to run. So in other ways, they've been programmed, like they're in a situation where they know that if I need something, I just need to think, you need to ask. ask. Yes, of course, it's a good thing, but they end up asking even strangers. They don't even know you, but they keep on uh, asking you. So it's not a good thing. So as parents, I believe, guys, that it's our duty to train it, our kids the way we want them to be. Let's train them. Like, even, do you know that even also, I once even mentioned this thing, even the type of food that we're giving our kids was it right now, even if I can ask even yourself that when last did you eat uh, um, <laughs> you don't even know that. <laughs> do, do you get what I'm saying? You know, <laughs> do, 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 do you get what I'm saying? So, oh, she doesn't even know. <laughs> So guys, okay, you call no, it I, Munyeve. I know yeah, Munyeve. Yes. I love Munyeve. Yes. So, so those kind of um, um, food, mm. they, they used to play a big role. I don't know how far to it is. I heard that even Bob, Ndara Bob, mm. his food was even, uh, he was eating cultural, cultural food. things. Mm. Those food, they are very good healthy. They are very good and they make a very important thing in our body. Yeah, because now I still remember was like researching about something. Which is like when the no munyeve, no bad things are cut, are cut. You know, I was like munyeve, munyeve. You see, you see, because uh, truly speaking, even the we we say well, we love meat. Meat is good, mm. but an, a most of our meat that we are buying, that we afford, mm. is full of genetics. So the ones that they sell in always the ones that is very yeah. expensive, those are the organics. Like organic meat. But we cannot afford those ones. So the ones that we are running after, they're not good for our health. Because of the cost of living. Uh, the cost have. of living and all those kind of things. So it's high time as parents we need to teach our kids to know how to eat those things that we grew up eating. So that when they grow up, they will know that even are these ones, even these ones, even even not only kids, even men. Most men they don't even eat um, the the um, um, the raw. I mean, the harsh things, the ones. Mm. It's very good. You know, you know, in our health system, and a lot of things. But it, it helps us a lot. Yeah, it's true. Like, we're going to be home. But they know what they were doing. That's why they grow up to be what they are. <laughs> it's so it's so sad. It's very because sad. Because you can check out my young men are kufa these days. Yes. They're very young. Yes. And they uno na mbabo akwa ni na inte something is jaro ya drama. But you know when they say they're kufa, when they have a kunzo amuroi. Yes. Apa yewe you didn't even do anything. You know what? Today, actually today, mm. I met one one of my brother. He's feeding um he he he, he is a poultry business. Arugure na wuku. Mm. I asked him, Do you know what he said to me? Yeah. He said, I'm putting Gava Kava Mugudzang. Because that is the most important thing. He says, You will be running, spending 500 runs and all those things. It's nothing. Use our natural things. Herbs, those things. And that's the most important thing. I don't in like you know the government. I don't go easy or because yes. like we back home my mom you don't yes. get a woo could yes. so don't like chicka chicka gaga government like chicka man did it Okay, okay, mm. it makes sense. But yes. I didn't even know could you know Shandai to help that. It helps a lot. I think I'm enjoying this conversation, Chris, yeah. because you know the panuki pachita one thing that no panopi was no mano because there are some of the mistakes that literally make yeah. our issues. Yes, yes. But that's yes. why we uh, we introduce programs like Speak It Out. That's whereby yeah. we can talk about some deep issues. Deep issues because I like Panama it is on you know Yara Kushara in that spoil and one that can undy to see. And people will judge you like, yeah. really. So, yes. so some people in the comment section right now who are yeah. watching. There yeah. are some of the things that actually one of us to learn. Yes. And I just wanted to ask about this. Yes. Are we not are we being fair? Pakutimwana, Anashka ku Zimbabwe, as a goni shona. That's uh, that you we are not if you are doing like that, we are not fair. But My child, 
Anotora English. Anotora Shona. Anotora Kos. Wow. Anotora Africans. Yo. Shona and Tuizia. In his Tora Nai, the Tora Nene Shona, the Tora Nature. But Chomaga no Tamanai, Antora Kosa. Kuskor Wanuinda, Kune Africans. The English. The English. So, yes, of course, maybe there are those. I once told you that there are those who think that there are no South Africans, mm -hmm. yet they are Zimbabweans. But do we blame them, though? <laughs> to some extent. Remember, I said I love you. Yes. To some extent. We do. Because we are not here forever. And remember, I said, if you. You don't live. You, you have left your. You have lived your life. Mm. This is now your, your your kid. Don't be selfish. So I've lived my life. So I want my kid to be, to know her culture, to know my language, so that I don't know tomorrow. We don't know tomorrow. So I cannot be selfish. Like I don't want my child to speak Pretty Ashona. I need to, t to teach her to do that. Even though some people they might argue say Ah Ashona Deko anybody. In the real day in the but those things are very important. I love those kind of things of saying, I need to go back to my culture. Mm -hmm. I, it's, it's for me, I, I, maybe it's because I'm a rural boy. I grew up in, uh, in, <laughs> in, 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 in a rural area. I love the rural area uh, life, you know. So I think that's why I'm always insisting that we need to go back to our origins to find out that. These are the most important things that can help our kids to grow. So, we need to discipline our kids and uh, the way I kind of But our own way was it not harsh? Because as <laughs> my parents were just supposed to tell me, Alice, what's <laughs> the But if I was a Okay, let me tell you something about myself. Um, I grew up in a rural area, especially we used to do like this before you go to school. Taito in the no Vura Mombe, Totum Bonorima. How old were you? Um, when I was approaching even form one, form two, grade seven, something like that. Wow. To get what I'm saying. So, to the extent that, that's what I'm saying, sometimes the way we grew up, it makes me to be the man I am. Right. So, we, with that harsh situation, um, I become a father when I was very young. Being a father is not to, to, to father someone. I become responsible at a very young age. Wow. At 17, I used to, my mom used to cook, pop, mm. and wait for me to come with uh, fish. I used to go fishing. I'm very good at fishing. Wow. And I used to sell some fish to get some, uh, some, some money, money some books, it. and all those kind of things. For so, your siblings? For my siblings and for myself. Do you get what I'm saying? Then, 2007, I had to come here in South Africa via double up. The, the <laughs> we had to walk. Yes. Like, it took me about that. Yes. And my cousin brother, yeah. he came using that same way. Of course. And uh, I now should believe in that. Are you for real? But it happened. Why? The way I grew up, it was quite harsh. So it was easy for me to walk those long um, kilometers mm. and those long harsh ways. Why? Because I'm used to those things. Can you imagine someone who was uh, in, in, in uh, maybe um, sorry, Masalad? He cannot do that. So <laughs> That's abuse. It's not abuse. I'm proud of myself. So sometimes... Yeah, like, that is the language they are using these days. Because <laughs> yes, now yes, I think yes, we are, yes. some of the parents, like even in the comment section, yeah. they are even scared of telling yeah. their kids certain things. Because now there is this a word abuse. Yes, that's very Nema true. rights. The no. A word and the other word like Panama rights, Nema abuse. Ne. So you want to show you what you can't tell because they go back to school, <laughs> they report you, and yes. those teachers what yes. they do, they call you. We could go principal office. We cannot bounce. We can't see. Parkers or see. I'm not ready. 
so which means next time I'm not gonna kuti usa 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 soke my socks ako usa watch my socks na kuto chau chau muwaza. Auto umjo. So in other words, actually this thing of saying uh, the kids have got more rights, abuse, abuse. Do you know that some parents are now even afraid of their kids? Yeah, that is what I'm saying. Kuti muna aku chau chau. Tapi wazaka na kano chau ruake chitiri kwa kujed. So because the other parents I know, there's someone on Twitter. I can't remember this for three months. So you are, you are on your own prison in your own house? Yes. So uh, come on, the government must do something. Because at the end of the day... So do you think it's the government who must do something, but me as a parent, am I, am I the one who is supposed to do something? Who is supposed to do something? The government or uh, me as a parent? When it comes to that now, we put it this way. That the government that put those rules, do you get what I'm saying? So that they, do you know that there's some even rules that says the teachers must not even beat their kids? No, uh, I think we think in our country it works. So, so now I'm no longer able to discipline my kid. Do you know, some, some rules that they are putting, they're not even biblical. Because the biblical says, spare a rod and spoil a child. The Bible itself, the Almighty God says, spare a rod and spoil your child. That there are some of the people who are not uh, Christians who yeah, believe yeah, in yeah, different yeah, things yeah, and believe in their own ways. So now, Paraguay, I'm going to go to my rules. I'm going to be Muslim or Michi or Pang Pang. I'm going to be gay or Michi. But my rules, I'm going to present a new Bible. I'm going to mirror those things. So what can we do as a Zimbabwean? Because on this we're talking about Zimbabweans yes. in Cape Town. Yes. So must I send you back or what? Um, before I answer that, I, I, I had a, a, a best friend. He was a, he's a white guy. He once invited him to his house. Uh, the, the, the boy was eight years old. We, around eight o'clock, he was playing, busy playing. He just said to him, Shane, it's sleeping time. He was playing, and this day he said, it's now sleeping time. The boy was forced to go to his house, and he slept. They, those people, some of them will give those rules. Some of them, they don't even follow those rules. They might tell you the rules to spoil your child while they are really treating their child nicely. So sometimes it's, it's very difficult sometimes I'm, I'm, I know what is best for my kid. You know what is best for your kid. So I need to, it's like even, even um, the girl children or the girl uh, uh, child now. You must play a role as a mother to teach your child what you want it to be. So um, that's what I can say. We cannot, even sending them home sometimes, I cannot advise to send them home. Be where you, your child is so that you can monitor it. Well, sometimes there's some who are, who, are, who are even evil, who cannot even take care of the uh, children the way you might take care of them. So I would, I would say, be where your child is. Monitor him. Monitor him. Just tell them the real story. Like, for instance, some parents, gone are the days whereby you'll be saying, uh, maybe, Baba um, buru pamba, my child must come to me with confidence mm. that I must go to Papa and ask these things. Then I teach her in a good way. She must feel safe to come to me. So that there are things, of course, some cultural things, the things that were bad, that were bad, those our parents were doing. Like, Baba, why you come to someone and you kiss someone? Yeah, Baba, it's important figure, like, but you have a door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, Chris, we are learning. I think uh, they are getting to understand some of the things that you don't want to know, which I want to know in another way. Yeah. So, guys, we have got Chris in the studio, guys. We are talking about Zimbabweans in Cape Town. And don't forget, this one, this video is sponsored by Chido. Guys, we're going to go on a number screen up on the Instagram page, the Facebook page. Yake. Please, guys, just go there. Can I would end up wedding? Think of a metric wedding, <laughs> lobola. Yeah, guys, now it's wedding season. So please yes, contact each other. Teacher Nitakawanda. You can just see the dress. I'm very nice. That's not a chain. And then you can just show that I look to the Abandukuzon. So uh, we just want to talk about quitting. 
it, can we keep on staying here in Cape Town or we need it's high time we need to move now? Because of the economy, it's a a business, a cool flop and stuff. So uh, can we pick our bags now? Teacher say what I have. Yeah um, I can say there's a Shona word that says Kunaka Akuna Kirwani. Alright. Kunaka eh. Akuna Kirwani. Akuna Kirwani. Yeah, something okay. like that. Uh, or if you want to put it in Kalanga, you know, Kunaka, Kunaki Gwangwe. Mm, okay. <laughs> yes, I like that one. Kunaka, Kunaki Gwangwe. Gwangwe. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a Karanga, it's a Karanga, because mm. it's shown as an umbrella wind. Why am I saying so? My cousin, he came here in South Africa and things didn't work out for him. Wow. And he went back to Zim. Guess what? He went there and he bought his car there. Really? There are some people who are here in Cape Town, things are not even working out for them. Yeah. There are some people who are here in Cape Town, things are working good for them. So that's why I'm saying kunaka akuna kigwamu. But um, when you are looking at the big picture, um, chisinga peri chino shura. All right. South Africa now is no longer the South Africa that we used to know. Mm. The greener pastures are now getting dry. So it's high time we need to look for some greener pastures. So uh, can we fly abroad or can we go back home? Uh, <laughs> I thought, I wished, <laughs> I thought to go back home. I wish to go back home. But now, because of the situation in our country, I'm not, I'm, I don't, I, I don't, guys, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 no. Oh, let, let us wait. Let, let us not Let us there. wait, let okay. us wait, let us okay. wait. <laughs> But finally, I might have heard some of those Zimbabweans in Cape Town are yeah. suffering. Yeah. And but I have no good tea garis, tea garis, akanaka, tea, you throw my life akanaka. What can we do about that? Um, what I can say is unfortunately, um, that as Zimbabweans, sometimes we are not united as Nigerians and um, the Somalians and um, um, some other cultures. Mm. I don't know why. Should I say it's because we grew up, but we didn't grow up suffering. Because there is this thing that we are lacking, Kubatana. Mm. That which I once mentioned that during the 2008, when we were few, you enjoyed it, that I, moment. Think what I'm saying. Now, do you know that even if you can say, let's make a, a business like, like what the Somalians are doing, <laughs> it will end up flop. Think what I'm saying. So I don't know <laughs> what is going on. I still remember I once we once. We once formed a group with <laughs> one of my our camera guys. Mm. Uh, we wanted to uh, to buy each other Camera. the cameras and those, of which it was a very good thing. But to my surprise, one of the guys robbed me of my five thousand rand and he ran away. And in that group, he wanted to be the one to be given the money first. Wow! So can you imagine if you had to give that guy, he was just going to go. So we've got that intention of just robbing each other. <laughs> I don't know where is it coming from. No, we are lacking honest. Because we love money. No, everyone loves money. Mm. But um, mm -hmm. we are not being... Uh, uh, mm. uh, uh, they, I, don't, I think we are losing ourselves in Zimbabwe. Wow. We, we, we are coming to the point of... We just want everything to be quick. We just want things to work on our own. We are... Uh, the ego is not... We are ego, ego trick. Something something that is not good, actually. We just want... Can we call we it are, jealousy or what? Ah, that's not good. Because, you know, like you mentioned Nigerians and yeah. Somalians and Congolese as well. Yeah. They have got that... E.g. those people, there is a lot of nationalities in Cape Town. Mm. But you, the, you see them... Banima groups are... Because... Because we, we, I work with people... You know, ah, and we are committing... To meeting AT and to, oh, it's our group, it's Congolese or Nigerians or Somalians. When you go to you can have five per area, one can have yes. 20 for my street one. <laughs> selling the same thing. Man, dear or who are now, Mundosha now, one home. Can I read dress? Which I want a momo, which I want a next, which I want a next match. Can I read boots? It's like the same thing. But you see, they like they too. That's what I was take, uh, I'm, I'm talking about. What, like, what can we do to, to help, <clears throat> like for us to get together? I once um, listened to one of, one of the preachers. He was saying, can you grow a lemon to be um, a rectangle? 
uh, no, not a lemon one, a watermelon. Mm. You can do that. Really? Yes. How? How? You can find a rectangle um, container. Mm. And as the uh, watermelon is growing, okay. you put it inside. So the, the, purpose, the purpose is to shrink it so that it will shrink following the, uh, what do you call it, the, the, shape, of the, the shape of the container. So as Zimbabweans, I think we've been groomed in that way. We've been forced to compress ourselves to the extent that we are now losing ourselves. Like even, look, you can even put something in your, in your comment section, even in, in any group. That is very good. You can see this thing is very good. You will find some people will be even discouraging them. You can invite people at your own wedding. Mm. You, they eat your own rice, they drink your own drink, but they will find something uh, 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 opposite to say about you. Wedding in Shant. That's Zimbabwe's for you. No lie. I don't know why. So, <laughs> you know, uh, some opinions are not meant. Are not necessary. Are not necessary, I mean. So, why we must grow? You know, you know that there are some things that even if I see that there's something wrong, mm. I must not see the wrong things. I must see the good thing that you do. But because you tell her, like, when I tell you, like, oh, Chris. Am I not mending you or what? Uh, let me say, the you know, you might even tell me the truth, mm. but the way you are telling me the truth, the it, approach, the approach that you say, uh, I love this uh, pastor, pastor, um, uh, is evangelism paringa. He says, you come to me, and say. Is <laughs> the way you are telling me. Okay. But if you can sit down with me and say, my brother, uh, this thing that you are doing is good because you love it. But in the long run, some of the reasons why even even in our, our okay, okay, I don't want to go there. In marriages, <laughs> in marriages, in marriages. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Madibata shua shua dire dire ma vile vile mnao ukuti daita shumzaka dai. But the way you come to me addressing what I did. Now, Chris, like, let me check it there. I'm gonna. All oh, ladies, I'm about to fight for our rights right now. I'm about to fight for ourselves. Yeah. My daughter told me, Chris, I want to defend us. All right. But in nda kubata. Yes. Nda kubata and so on a message. Yes. Do you have to tell me the approach I must give to you or I must approach you my way? Um, According to the feelings that I'm feeling, the mm, hate which I'm mm, feeling that time. Mm, mm. So you want me to come to you saying, Chrissy, what's it today? No, not it in that way, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, of course. Uh, remember, um, fighting, mm. n n n even a wedding that is very godly, that is what? People always fight, but when we are fighting, we must leave a room for or, or, because we know that we are we we're fighting just maybe for a few minutes. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? We must leave a room because I, I'm your husband, you are my wife. Mm. When we are fighting, we know that we, there should be a stop. So I always say, if you hear someone saying, "I want to you'll be trying to say. I'm now revealing the real me. I've been the, lying. The inner me, that the, one you don't know. The, the one that you don't know me. So, to, for you to see the reality of someone, let him be happy, let him be happy, mm. let him be angry. Then you can see, oh, this person is real, this person. So sometimes, um, I, I, was, I, I, was, I was trying to come up with the uh, issue of saying, the truth must be told in love. Okay. So if you can tell me in love, I'll be able to accept what you are what you are saying to me. But if you come to me harshly, I'll try to defend myself. Even though I know that I'm wrong. But I think men they are born to defend themselves. <laughs> <laughs> because you see most of the lawyers they are men. Oh so, but, 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 that is the category of an audience. You could defend them. Okay. All right. Okay. Sure. Chris, I just want to ask on this. Because my child and I go to my bopinza, my evangelist in Paringa, I want to just like, I just thought of something. Okay. What's your take in my churches in Cape Town? Most of them are money making. My business. Nah, my business. I just want to read it. 
you need to know that whatever that you are doing, you answer for that. There is a day coming that everyone will answer for everything that you are doing. In everything that you are doing, you are putting a seed. Be it good, be it wrong. You can do something good for me and I don't appreciate it. Don't worry. You've, you've, you've put a seed down. Your child might reap that seed that you put. Wow. So whatever thing that you are doing, no matter is good or bad, remember you are putting a seed. You might not reap now, but you will reap it. So in other ways, whatever that you are doing, know that you are putting a seed. So if you do something wrong, you will reap what you sow. Aonga jari munga oda ukoa oda pua wachimange ashimudi. Ni dombo sama. Kama mpa mene ni calling. Na 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 na. Si mwanangu wale makolling because wale ngo watu call wa tuni ma 16 years. No, the, 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 you know what? Um, I'm sorry man. I always want to re refer to the Bible. Mm. Judas Iscariot was one of the people Pagatuma Jesu kuti anofaridza pamba chiparidza chiporisa. Judas Iscariot was one of them. But I Some of them, I don't think they calling you. But along the way, you are not Alright. What? So can we blame it to Cape Town? The most of the to go Zimbabwe were my pastors. Then they came this side. Pastor, I pastor. Yeah. Some of them are not asking me road. Some of them are not asking road. Plus, we need to know that you can be a pastor. But let me not put into this one. Because some people will say, oh, you are not a pastor. You are not a what? Mm. But you can be a pastor. But at the end of the day, you're also a human being. So if you can forget that you're a human being, that's where you get lost. My but bad. can we blame Cape Town? Could you know gonna a bad influence to people's lives or what? No, even Zimbabwe, what are going to do? Because <laughs> <laughs> some are doing that in Zimbabwe right now. So we cannot blame it to Cape Town. No, not to Cape Town. So it's their own personality. Yes, and it's also written that these things will happen. So we mustn't be Surprise, uh, surprise about, about everything that is happening. So I wanted to talk about business in Cape Town. <coughs> What's the take on, uh, of running a business in Cape Town? Um, it's a good thing, actually. I'm thinking also to do one. Uh, <laughs> I'm thinking also to do one. Um, it's a very good thing to do business in Cape Town. Um, hence, Kumba, Kusina Maya, Kuyen, Brendo, You know, I want to take you back to the issue of the let me go back. Mm. Home is always best. Home is always best. Do you know that see, the freedom that you have in Cape Town is not as good as the freedom that you have in Zimbabwe? The fact that you are at home. Yes, you are. The fact that you are in Cape Town, no matter how many times you are saying, you are in Cape Town, you are in but pani pambo uti pani kaka thought kalo yaku ti you are a greja or a greja chet so do you get something so yeah that's there's some things there's some things that I cannot do like for instance kamarika no ana I can also go kutindi no kwanza apply moto yangu di fambo neka neka task gamba kana film by every month you know but the number two thousand two thousand but I cannot do that the moment I zamu ko na mu mu rodi mu wala shukuri zoko na rodi but number two thousand man. I can afford to do that, but I cannot so, do it one day. iPhone 15, you will come my magic. I, I really so, love that phone. <laughs> but we cannot do. We we don't have those. Uh, uh, so mm. no matter how happy we are here, there is that thing that we always say. Uh, there is a limit. Yeah, there's, there's a, a limit. So far, so that so far, we are fishing pond. I'm understanding you. Yeah. Guys, we've got Chris in the yeah. studio. We're talking about Zimbabweans in Cape Town. <sighs> Guys, don't forget this video is, is sponsored by Chido. I'm going to screen dress. I'm going to mono Chido. Guys, just support the business. Yeah. Support here. Yeah. Go to your page in Facebook, Instagram, and your yeah, number is below. So, Chris, I just want to ask on this. Because there are other people who are sending me messages. Alice, talk about this, talk about that, talk All about right. this. So, it's kept in a good place because such a way I could know. Which one is a BC? Yeah. Which is a Zimbabwe? Yeah. Which one is a good place? Which one is a good place? Which one is a good Which one is a good place? 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 Which one is
Yes, 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 yes. Wow. Quite an accident. Yeah. I quite quite villa quite catty. But you coming here now, map ground. What's your take on the safety and is it a safe place? Um, Cape Town is not safe. I don't lie. Cape Town is not safe. It's not safe. That's that's one of the things that I love our country. Kuzim, mm. you can walk. Yes, of course there is crime in Zim, mm. but not not as compared as South Africa. Um, so that's one security wise, Zimbabwe is good. Cape Town, when it comes to security, is not good. With those places, with uh, I used to work in <coughs> in Aitzeh. it's a very good place, very security. So that you cannot say you are safe while you're in Cape Town. It doesn't safe. matter where you are staying. No, it doesn't matter where you are staying. Uh, you know, see, there is a word that says every dog is its own day. Mm. So if things they, they just want to happen, they will just happen. Cape Town, but on its own, Cape Town is good. Cape Town is good, but sometimes it's bad. Why am I saying so? Um, if you are not clever enough, we will spend our money with clothes and food. Clothes nice and food. <laughs> Clothes and food. Because every day, if you yeah. just open your phone, yeah. McDonald's in a special, KFC in a special, Chakanti in a special. You know, the time, I, in, um, I've got a very long story about which I cannot talk. It's the story for another day. Now you can come back. You can still come we back. We can again. still come back. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I came via, uh, as I told you, mm. um, then Takashi Kira Kunozo Kutoya and Dog Vendek. So, Vendek would take a better man. E two little coco, I don't get to get a tea on America one. Taman on the majority juice, or take a chingua chagada. When you could not keep down, I would you chingua chagada, logic and yama, a chingua. I think it's so difficult. I there was a moment I got addicted, like I can't eat dinner without drink. Do you get what I'm saying? A dinner in like a coco can a fanta, can go to far. So it's, it's we, we were enjoying ourselves, but sometimes we end up forgetting. So we end up working for those things, for food and clothes, food and clothes. So kept on Yaganaka, but you need to know what you want. At the end of the day, we end up everything. I assume we are photographers, guys. So I tell you, you don't shoot out. It's not a photo. But at the end of the day, not all of And the good part of the museum. They would see, and those people are losing much of the money. I don't want to see what they should say. I don't want to see what they They don't have any money. I want to know Sungiro or to Tenga Sandy again. I know Sungiro or Tenga. I told you when I was in Venda, Tama knows my jolly juice. So, uh, two liter of jolly juice so dilute. Maria is eh, Sungiro, Mari. One is what to know. Once you come to Cape Town, you tend to relax and do On a spaghetti road. Yes, on a spaghetti road. So, yeah, so. You know that moment, like, yeah. you know, I'm going to so like, me, I come with you, eh? Yeah. I'm going to have a lot of mistiness, so I'm going to have a lot of mistiness. Yeah. I was like excited in the chic, the show came to but I didn't yeah. know what the distance, but they're going to tell one of the future, I'm very bright, <laughs> because my lips are going to be bright. Yeah. <laughs> so, Chris, on that, we are, you just, uh, Panin Gwe Mambo Bata Jema, Meiji, Meiji. Yeah. So, okay, okay, me Jolom Cape Town, like, it's so difficult to find love in Cape Town, why? Because when I'm going to complain about, hey, my relationship in Cape Town, I'm going to have Facebook, I'm going to have a Facebook, so I wanted to ask you that, why is it so difficult to find like real women or real men? My marriage material or Man, what I could say to love. Man, are serious? There is a true, uh, there is um, a difference between love and lust. There is a difference between, um, it's a subject for another day. You know, <laughs> some people they don't, they jump things. The reason why people they say um, there is no true love in Cape Town, there is true love, but people will jump things. We jump the dating part, we jump the uh, 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 engagement, we quickly know each other today, we quickly go to marriage. 
I didn't know you. Because when I'm dating you, I need, you, you, you date someone whom you've got feelings, you, you want to know that person, if he or she can be the good person in your life. It's not a must that when I'm dating you, I must marry you. Okay. No. But the problem comes when you are doing things that you are not supposed to be doing while you are dating. I could share terms on it because I was like, I'm working from my boss, and me and me, I'm working from I'm working five days or <clears> six days. You, you are also working five days or six. I'm going to off one day. So it's not because people are not getting uh, no. enough time to see each other. People, they've got time. On another thing, that, that is another thing that people they don't know each other very well. They quickly go into conclusion before they know the person very well. Number two, Cape Town is business. Cape Town is for business. Some people they know that, especially our ladies. So they, mm. Mm. So they know. Um, there is this um, thing people they do in Zim, they say they're exchanging of phones or oh, the uh, royalty test. You need to arrive in Zim. Do you get what I'm saying? So, if you can take those things, you know that people are, are doing business nowadays. <laughs> they know that I'm dating this one because I want to get this one. Mm. But my true love is this one. All right. So, people are doing business in Cape Town. But there is true love in Cape Town. Really? Yes, there is true love in Cape Town. But the problem is that, number one, people that quickly jumping into conclusion. I meet you today in the, in, in the text. We exchange numbers. That's last. Well, that, that's, that's why I said there's a difference between love and lust. But is there no love at first sight? There is love at first sight. But most people now, what they call they love each other, they don't love each other. They are lusting upon each other. You love a certain thing. I just saw a beautiful woman. You're going to have a zipper. I just saw that. So I'm after that which I saw. But the reality, I don't love it. Once I get what I want, that feeling will fade away because I didn't love that person. So most people who think that they are in a relationship, they are not in a relationship, they are just lasting upon each other. Oh my God. Yes, that's true. <laughs> they are just lasting. <laughs> uh -uh. Most, mo most people, but few, they are in love. But most people are also... Um, you also end up an issue you could see. Um, most people are also hurt. Mm. So if I, if you date me, never mm. bungura this one. Uno fira mosha zosinga zivit. Wau fira mosha. Like for instance, also, it's our sisters they need to know this, or our brothers they need to know this. Ya botoro na chaplain piri. She can say I went into marriage trying to prove a point to my ex. Okay. So people are quickly jumping into a relationship in the order to prove a mm. point that mm. I'm still hot, baby. <laughs> I, can, I can move fast like Wi-Fi. I always say, to 5G, But But are you, are, are you in a relationship? Uh, do you really love this person or you want to prove a point to this one? No, no, you're not. Are you so fast? No, you're not. The reason why you will see that you, she or you keep on telling you about the ex, ex each and every time, which means the heart is still on the ex, but he's here because you he want to, uh, to fix the ex. He thinks he can fix the ex with you. So in other words, you are a panado. Right. Painkiller. <laughs> you are a painkiller. Do you get what I'm saying? So you'll be healing, trying to heal some wounds. So is it most of the, like some of the people in Cape Town very hurt? So they yes. are finding way to put their pain in it, like we knock moon off and I was like, we revenge, we could fix true. That's true. Not only in Cape Town, even in Zim sometimes, but mostly in, 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 in diaspora, mm. it, it, it happens mostly. So, could knock my relationship in business? Ah, uh, mostly. Mostly? Ah, uh, mostly it's business, guys, we don't like. Wow. Especially our, uh, sorry, especially, uh, the truth will set me free. <laughs> especially our sisters that are doing business, guys. They're doing business. <laughs> it's business, business-wise. But there are some who are after, do you know what? Let me tell you something. Um, a problem, yeah. Mm. So, please, guys, especially our beloved sister, or even our beloved brothers, sit down with the person, 
make a good home if you find a good wife. E chishona chaka tora chikati zengesa gonyira pamwe marube nyika aperi. Mm. Women are, are, are just the same. Men are just the same. Uh, the reason why I'm saying so is that uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'm, I'm to say this. Do you know that you can leave your wife and go and cheat outside and find out that your wife is better than the one that you are cheating with? Are you very real? Of course. That's what I'm saying. Sometimes you need to appreciate what you have before you lose it. And men are still cheating. Not only men. Women nowadays are even more. <laughs> See, where you say you only even women... Uh, women are even more. Because I'm talking from experience why I'm a photographer, remember? I know. I've seen a lot and I'm seeing a lot. But my job is just to shoot. next That's my job. Like, like being fair, being honest. Yeah. 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 What's your first reaction? For you, not being like a photographer, professional way. And and I'm not doing that. No more. I'm not doing that. 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 I'm not but there's nothing you can do. So what you can just do is just to pray for those people who do I like like for instance, um, if you see your pastor even maybe I don't don't go and talk behind him. Even if I see you, like say for instance, you are fighting with your husband. I mustn't talk about it. I think I that's must the other pray thing. About it. That is the other thing why yeah. uh children true to feel my marriages and stuff. Yeah. We are scared of speaking it out because yes. the moment in the house are Christ which yes. I'm fighting with my husband. Yes. I have bad to join you. Ah <coughs> yes. that's true. Yes. Even like infidelity mm. issues, we can't share them with other people. Well the moment I mm. could cheat at mm. my situations are cut. <laughs> um, I, th I think one of the things that we are losing as, as people, maybe not as Zimbabweans only, but as people, is that we are lacking, we are no longer brothers keepers. Like, if I see you struggling, even in a marriage, even if, if whatever that you are struggling with, well, the only thing that I need to, gossip, do you know that gossip is a sin? It's a sin, it's that thing that is very bad. So in order for me to sit down and think, ah, what is happening? What, how, how can I help these people? I go on, talk about it. Even women also, even, even men, especially women mostly. Uh, your status, your status here, mm. it's not for a joke. Most people, they just put whatever they are feeling. Do you know that you can know someone's future even on a status? Really? Of course, you can see someone's future. Oh, she, I'm happy. You can see, oh, this person nowadays she's happy. Oh, this mm. nowadays, oh, she, she's happy. So we don't have to put all our social life on all our life on social media. But that is where other people are getting healing from. No, it's it's a main person. I to what extent? I, I can't like to say to what extent because other people, if you ask them, they tell you they find closure through that, they find healing through that. No, I, I'm sorry to say this, but if you end of the girl who, who commit suicide because of that, of those TikTok things, when she kissed the guy yeah, for that. Yeah, for five dollars. Yeah, so what happened? Social media. So social media is good, but we need to monitor it very quickly, very wisely. Because most marriages are getting destroyed because of social media. Most marriages. Most relationships, they don't work because of social media.
but on that, what you take Kutiva Nova to Zimbabwe? And like mm. we come from Zimbabwe, me and my husband, Shukuira and Chukudana. And the mm. moment people reach to Cape Town, things turn turn around. Um, what causes that? Mm. Is it like Cape Town, Makazawandam, Cape Town, or Ochi? <laughs> Not only that, also. Do you know that also peer pressure it affects a lot of people. Peer pressure. Um, women li like to convey a lot. Kumbagwa mai nash wakatengero atu do fridge inina andina. Mai nash wakatvega dress ragat inina andina. Batengero atu ragat. I've got a movie that I wrote down. That uh, I'm just looking for sponsors to start to film that movie. It's oh. called the real. Uh, it's called two wrongs will never make a right. But I really wanted it to make it a real life in Cape Town. Do you know that the person you see wearing things, nice things, you don't know where is she getting those things from. I think I can feature in the movie. You don't know where that person is getting that money from. Mm. So leave, be content with what you have. So most people, we are not content. Even some other women to end up cheating is because they... Um, like for instance, I had a brother who cried to me. I used to stay with him. His wife... He caught his wife with someone who was staying in a shack while they were staying in a flat. What? Why? Because that woman, she used to take a text with that guy and that guy used to give him 10 rand every day. You see. Number two, it's also an issue of um, um, a spiritual thing also. There is a, a spiritual thing that is happening in Cape Town that causes, that breaks marriages. That is one of the things. But... Uh, we cannot say that is the most important thing, but also people themselves, they feel each other. <clears throat> Cultural-wise, um, do, do, do you know down when you give your, your, your husband food? Eh, I don't want to lie on that. <laughs> 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 but I, I was not doing it for, 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 it was for fun. For, for oh, it was for fun? Yeah, we're doing it for Okay, okay. okay. can I ask you, can mm. I ask, if you go home with your husband, mm. Are you going to give him food while you're standing? I don't listen. I, I think I bent a little bit, but not because of food. My side number. I don't want to. Uh, I mean, when you go home now. Because mm. Zimbabwe. Yes, what are you going to do? He, he, especially when my in laws are there. Yes, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to need him. Because, yes. like. Yes, why are you doing that? Why are you going to do that? It's, it's a way of respect. It's so, why can you respect him now? I don't, I've never, I think on, after this show, I need to ask him if, could he, if he likes it. That's the other thing. Um, you know what? <clears throat> As for me, there are some things that we think that they are not important, yet they play a very big role. One of the things that I love about my wife, I don't say this because we are in the show. Mm. Um, no matter who can fight, no matter who can do this, but one thing that I know is that I love because of that respect. Mm. No matter we, we fought, we, we exchange words. But when she gives me food, she has to kneel down and give me food. That it give me some uh, uh, something that says, yes, this woman. Mama. Maybe if she's doing something, but because of this, I must stay here because of this. Mm. That kind of respect. I know most people they can say, ah, there's a darash. So we must stop paying lobot. But still. Yeah, there's some uh, men who can say, ah, I don't know for me, don't, especially when the life is too uh, nice. Ah, no, no, baby, no, no, don't do that. Let your woman, your woman be, play a role. Maybe she was taught this way mm. when she was growing up. She was told that you must kneel down when you're giving your husband. You must show respect. Mm. So there's no more respect nowadays. So I'm no longer playing a role as a, as a husband. You are no longer playing a role as a it's woman. Why. So we need to go back to our culture and find out what was keeping our their marriage work. Some of those things, those small things. Those small things that we think they don't matter. They really matter. Do you know that? Another thing. Only to say sorry. The word is sorry. It's a big word. I I I I once in Dambo in the day about this and my not to this actual tattoo papa some scanner. I tell her she in no matter I'm wrong. I won't tell you that I'm wrong. Really? Yeah. So she won't apologize for anyway. She already put a decree on that. 
So there are some people even in their homes right now. You see yourself that you are wrong. But the ego tells you that never, never accept. It's not supposed to be like that. Wow. Yeah. Chris, I think a lot of people are listening. Some yeah. people are taking, but I believe there are some of the things that people who are watching. Yes. So what's your last words that people are listening to us right now? Okay, um, my last words, guys, is that <clears throat> um, let me just wrap it up. Mm. In Cape Town, we are here to make money. But one of the things that we want us to do as Zimbabweans, let's unite, guys. Mm. Let's unite. Maybe you can find three, two people whom you can, you know, do, do you know Nigerians, even though people, they blame them for, um, sorry, I'm too loquacious. Mm. <laughs> they blame them for, uh, um, for drugs and all those things. Mm. But I heard something that those guys, what they do, they got the money. 50, 50, 50, maybe 5,000, 5,000, 5,000, they sit down. Okay. Which team can win? They, they win, then they share the money. That's mm. how they do. Have yeah, you ever this, see... This other one they do, like they give each other money for business. Kind for of, business. Even whatever business. Yes. Put Uramba, which is so much zero. Have so you ever like, see a Somali and a Shandra woman? They work mm. for themselves. For them, so among us. Yeah, them. Among us themselves. So as Zimbabweans, why can't we not do the same thing? For our kids. Ah, my Zimbabweans are not going <laughs> For our kids, guys, let's train our children the way they should go. When they grow up, they will never live from it. Mm. Let's train our children in a nice way. Mama, this is what I'm saying. In our marriages, the most important thing that I can say is the respect. Maybe my girlfriend, of which we don't support that. So respect your husband. Respect your wife. I mustn't show it in front of you that I've, I've got a, someone of which I don't have, and I don't. I mustn't have. But <laughs> don't, don't show it. I just it. like that when my Chris, if you're watching, eh? <laughs> don't I'm show saying, it. I mustn't have. No, I, I don't have, and I mustn't have. <laughs> so respect is mostly important in our lives. We must respect each other, and learn to say I'm sorry, Mama. If I did something wrong as a man, I must also humble myself and say, Yes, I'm sorry for this. And the, the situation is over. I'm sorry. No matter my money per 150 <laughs> kilometers, yeah, you know, zero. That way, the good I'm sorry is very, very nice. Very, very important. So that's what I can say. Now, one of the things in conclusion I can say is that, guys, let us just wake up and smell the coffee. And um, let us just be ourselves. In conclusion, yeah. Jesus is coming back, guys. Let's be ready. Thank you. Guys, thank you so much for watching this ex exciting episode on Speak It Out. I uh, we learned a lot. It was Zimbabweans in Cape Town. We changed our Gawanda. Papins were over now. Papins were Gigi. It's Gawanda. So, guys, so Chris, I think you forgot to give them your social media handles. But those are two of my pictures there. They're not coming. All through. right. Okay. Well, those are two of my pictures, guys. You can come to Chris Sibs Images. Chris Sibs Images. Um, my studio is in Bellevue. We do also outdoors photo shoot. I mean, you got it, 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 you you know, you know, my contact number, what should I say, what should you take my contact number, any shoots, anyway, we capture it all, you got it. All right, you know, you got it, 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 guys, and don't forget this, a video is sponsored by Chido, guys. We can go and address the room. Go from adverts and please, to go to all my details. We can go no bunza. What kind of prize? And thank you so much for watching this exciting episode. I'm so happy to have you watching me each and every time. And a special thanks to my producers, Nash Empire, Nash Empire Studio, and Kuda. Our guys, I just thank you so much for making all this possible. And guys, don't forget to go to our YouTube channel and subscribe because it's too much more. You can go on there. 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 You can go on YouTube. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you so much. And don't forget, it's not over until you speak it out. See you on another exciting episode. It's bye for now. <laughs>
Pick it up, speak it up, Jaura, yeah, speak it up. Why don't you, why don't you, why don't you speak it up? Why don't you speak it out? Speak it out, yeah. My all is green.